circumnavigating the Earth, combing the depths of human potential. Coming up tonight, everyday people will compete in these spectacular events. All for the chance to be crowned the People's Champions. Hello, I'm Oliver Muirhead and welcome to The People's Champions, a show where ordinary people just like you compete in extraordinary events for a chance to be crowned The People's Champion. As always, I'm joined here by our elite group of judges, poised and ready to enforce any and all rules associated with becoming a People's Champion. If you thought last week's display was impressive, then you won't believe what's in store this time around. So without further delay, Let's put this bad boy into overdrive and take a look at our first event. My name is Vicki Schaefer, and I want to be the people's champion for staring at a dog's ass. Joining Vicki for today's ass stare is Don, with our canine posterior being provided by none other than Kuta, the official people's champion's dog. Each contestant will be given one attempt to stare at Kuta's ass for as long as possible without blinking. The contestant with the longest stare will be crowned the new People's Champion. Maybe I'll be traveling in my mind someplace else, but still paying attention to what I'm doing, which is staring at a dog's ass. But it certainly sounds like Don is focused as he quickly gets down on all fours and awaits the raising of the flag. And there it is. Just look at that concentration. Don seems to have put himself into a deep trance. A bold yet risky move, as I'm sure those of you who witnessed last year's mishap at the Nashville Regionals won't soon forget. Oh, dear. Oh, and there's the blink. My goodness, he seems to have blown it. 23 seconds. And with a time of only 23 seconds, it appears as though Don's countless years of ass staring may indeed all be for naught. And now for Vicky, who only needs to stare at Kuta's ass for a shade more than 23 seconds to become our new champion. She can almost taste the title. And there's the flag. My heavens, just look at those eyes. Vicky is a woman on a mission, even if that mission involves staring at an animal's rectum. The title is in her sights. And she's done it. She's a people's champion. But Vicky wants more. Now that's what I call dedication, or just plain insanity. And there you have it, 34 seconds. <laughs> Unbelievable. Seemingly, staring at a dog's ass would be easy. But when you get down on all fours, and then the flag is lifted, and you're staring right at the dog's ass, it's not so easy. You don't know what's happening or what's going to happen next. Spoken like a true loser. And congratulations, Vicky Schaefer. You're the new people's champion for staring at a dog's ass. My name is Nicole Martinetti, and I want to be the people's champion for getting dressed in a lowrider. Joining Nicole for today's competition is Rachel. I get dressed in a car a lot. I can't tell you why exactly, but me and my boyfriend, we spend a lot of time in the car. And now for a look at the rules. Each contestant is required to put on this outfit as fast as possible while stationed in the back seat of our super modified street legal low rider. Fastest time will be the new people's champion. And it looks like Rachel and her chest are ready to go. And there's the horn. My goodness, just look at all that bouncing and jiggling. Reminds me of my second honeymoon in Marbella. As our judge sneaks a quick peek, Rachel thrusts her hips high towards the heavens and she's done with the fishnets. Now for the skirt. Oh, perfect form. 
Oh, goodness me, she's really taking a beating back there. And here comes the shirt. Quite a pity, really. All that's left now are the shoes. One on. And there's the other. As she grabs the scarf. And there's the whistle. 42 seconds. 42 seconds. A lovely time for a lovely girl. And now for Nicole. My heavens, she certainly looks ready for this event. And there's the horn. As our low rider begins its relentless assault on our bucks and beauty. Not to mention our poor judge. Here come the red fish nets. And there goes the powerful pelvic thrust. One item down, three to go. Oh, look at that skirt technique. Impressive. Nicole needs to beat 42 seconds for the title. Now for the shirt, two hands in the sleeves and the old up and over. She's making excellent time as the first shoot goes on. And the second, there's the scarf. And there you have it. She's done it. Holy fun bags. 37 seconds. 37 seconds. Nicole is our new champion. Well, when the buzzer went off, my adrenaline started to pump up a little bit. I got a little bit nervous, but I grabbed those fishnet stockings because I knew those would be the hardest to put on, so I threw them on first. Threw the skirt on, threw the shirt on, put the shoes on, put the scarf off, and, like, that's it. I knew I was going to win, and I did, and I'm happy. So are we, Nicole. And congratulations on becoming the new people's champion for getting dressed in a lowrider. My name's Lisa Marie Bolick, and I want to be the people's champion for hurdling seats in a movie theater. Joining Lisa for today's run are Andy and Michael. Now for the rules. Each contestant must hold on to a soda and popcorn bag while attempting to hurdle these rows of movie theater seats. The first person to cross the finish line will become the new people's champion. I am an antique dealer for a living, so I'm always walking, I'm at the swap meet, I'm spreading my legs trying to go over a pile of junk. Sounds like something my first wife used to say. As our two polar opposite yet equally trained judges prepare the field. And they're off to a quick start with Andy and Michael jumping out to an early lead. There's Lisa struggling a little bit. But it's Michael in the black shirt looking to make an early move as all three athletes desperately try to hold on to their refreshments. Easy does it, sugar pops. Oh, both Lisa and Michael go down. Can Andy take advantage of their misstep? As Lisa continues with a case of the wobbles. But Michael seems to have made a full recovery. And he's actually pulled ahead of Andy as they speed through the final stretch. And as the popcorn continues to fly, they're neck and neck with only a few rows to go. The following finish has been rated too close to call by the Motion Picture Association of America. And there you have it. Michael wins in what will surely go down as the closest finish in the history of movie theatre seat hurdling. And it looks like it's back to spreading her legs over junk for poor Lisa. As soon as the horn blew, I felt I got a pretty good start. And then I felt my shoe started to fall off. The popcorn was flying. I thought I was going to fall, but I kept with it. And then I noticed, hey, I won. Now I'm the winner, people's champion. Congratulations, Michael Placentia. You're the new people's champion for hurdling seats in a movie theater. Another notch in the belt of sports history. And we're just getting started. Here's a peek at what's coming up next. But he really seems to be in his element. Oh, my heavens. <laughs> And he gets off a massive heave as he quickly dives into the nostril like a fat guy at a Vegas buffet. We'll be right back. What do you get when you combine an office computer, a second floor window, and a somewhat creepy gentleman with years of pent up hostility? The answer can be found in our next competition. My name is Don Gilmore, and I want to be the people's champion for tossing a computer out the window. Joining Don for today's toss is Fred. Each contestant will be given one attempt to throw this computer out of the window as far as possible. The athlete with the furthest distance measured, including slidage, will become a new people's champion. 
I've spent hours, days, months, sometimes years in front of a computer. If I had no inhibitions, I'd go inside a computer store. I'd go in there with the newsy. I'd just boop, 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 watch them all go blam, 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 blam. As our judge calmly fears for her own safety, I told you he was really creepy. And there's the horn. Oh, my heavens. And he gets off a massive heave with plenty of slide. As our judge moves in for the measurement. And here's some good news for the young ladies in our audience. I've just been informed that Don is single and looking to settle down. 41 feet, 2 inches. 41 feet, 2 inches. As Don continues to creep everyone out. And now for Brett. And there's the horn. Thing. Oh my goodness. An impressive toss, but minimal slidage. Let's see if that hurts him in the long run. As our judge and his trusty tool once again head out for the measurement. It's going to be very close. 35 feet, 4 inches. 35 feet, 4 inches. How very disappointing. I feel very proud. I'm very glad that I was finally able to find a positive release for my computer rage. It was a tremendous satisfaction, and mentally, I just took a big sigh and went, ah. And I threw it out the window and saw it explode, and it feels good. Somebody get that man a straitjacket. And congratulations, Don Gilmore. You're the new people's champion for throwing an office computer out of a second-story window. My name is Buddy D. Friedman, and I want to be the people's champion for being a prison bitch. Joining Buddy in today's event is Jury. And now for the rules. Each contestant must bend over, pick up all 12 bars of soap on the shower floor, and then place them as quickly as possible into the soap dishes. Every dish must be filled. I was in the Navy for a period of time, and after a big, long hike, we would run after they would dismiss us to the showers, strip off our clothes, and the first man in would try to grab all the soaps, actually, and try to keep them from the other men. Well, it sounds like Buddy is ready to go. Oh, dear. How disturbing. There's the horn. And as I'm quite certain our regular viewers have already noticed, the new international shackles rule is in effect for today's run. Buddy seems to be moving along nicely. Oh, and he's using the double grab technique for speed. Buddy's clearly done this before. And as he quite naturally bends over to pick up the remaining bars, Buddy really seems to be in his element. A bit of trouble there with the double decking costing him precious seconds. But wait, he seems to have overlooked a lone bar of soap. What a colossal mistake. And this could end up costing him the championship. 59 seconds. Well, I'm not really sure what he's so proud of, but something tells me Buddy wouldn't fare too well in the big house. And now for jury. I was in a sorority and we were always getting ready together and showering and always fighting for the soap. Let's see what she's packing underneath that towel. Land of milk and honey. And there's the whistle. And Jory gets off to a fast yet methodical start. Well, I think you can almost visualize those late night shower fights back at the Delta Chi house. After a long day of spending daddy's hard-earned money on skimpy lingerie, just look at her near-perfect balance. There's some amazing one-handed stuff as she delivers the final bar into the soap dish. And there it is, simply remarkable. 48 seconds. She's done it. When I heard the whistle go off, I picked up one bar in each hand at a time and knew exactly where I was going and what I was doing, and it happened so quick. Now I'm the number one prison bitch. That you are, Jory. 
and congratulations on becoming a new people's champion. So what does it take to become a people's champion? Our pledge to you, the valued viewer, is to seek out only those athletes possessing the highest levels of speed, strength and endurance. That being said, let's take a look at our next event. I'm David Figlioli and I'm here to set the people's record for the heaviest booger. In order to become a new people's champion, David will have to beat our current champion, Mandy Bame, who shocked the world at last month's heaviest booger tournament of champions with her now legendary pull of 102.6 milligrams. Congratulations. Truly one of sport's greatest moments. I have uh, real serious allergy problems and I'm usually blowing my nose all the time. And yesterday I decided not to blow my nose and just wiped. And then last night I slept with a pillow next to the heating duct, which dried everything up. So I'm ready to uh, pull out the heaviest booger. Sounds like David means all business. And there's the whistle as he quickly dives into the nostril like a fat guy at a Vegas buffet. Oh my. There it is, the old pick and drag. And he's got one. As David lowers the hardened mucus into the cup and our judge delicately places it onto the scale. 102.6 milligrams is the mark to beat. 61.6 milligrams. Oh, and he's come up very light. How devastating. You know, I was convinced I was going to win, but when I was digging in there, I kind of cut my booger in half with my thumbnail, and so I still have another half a booger up there. I would have won. Well, keep on picking David, and congratulations to Mandy Bame on retaining her title as the people's champion for the heaviest booger. There's nothing quite like watching an athlete in their prime. Still to come on the people's champions, as Jeff makes his approach, and a spectacular release. We'll be right back. Nothing goes together quite like high-speed drag racing and professional bowlers. So for all you professional bowlers out there, infatuated with the world of drag racing, this one's for you. My name is Jeff Hatch, and I want to be the people's champion for drag strip bowling. Joining Jeff for today's role is Melinda. And now for a look at the rules. Each contestant will have one attempt to roll their bowling ball down our NHRA certified drag strip as far as possible. My strategy today is pretty much just chuck that ball as hard as I can and hope for the best. Oh, that hardly qualifies as a strategy at all, really. As he carefully selects his ball, one can only wonder what strategy Jeff applied while shopping for his shirt. Simply dreadful. As we anxiously await the green. And there it is, as Jeff makes his approach. And a spectacular release. My goodness, you can almost hear the determination in Jeff's role as the ball smacked against the tarmac at him. And he's getting some excellent distance. Past the 300 foot mark. He'll be very pleased with his length. What an outstanding effort. And as we await the measurement, I'd just like to say a quick, happy 69th birthday to Big Daddy Don Garlitz, the grand poo bar of drag racing. Here's to another 69 great ones, Big Daddy. As our judge Ernie approaches the ball in his official People's Champions golf cart, 339 feet, 3 inches. Jeff really brought his A game today. Now for Melinda. And I'm being told she's opted for an 8 pound leopard print ball. What that means, I have no idea. Now for the green. And there it is. But oh heavens, she's lofted her orb. What a monumental embarrassment. I haven't seen a choke like this since Scott Norwood's infamous wide right kick at the 91 Super Bowl. Or Bill Buckner's historic blunder in the ninth inning of the 86 World Series. Or Latrell Sprewell, for that matter. 
And as our judge motors along for the measurement, you can be sure that Melinda's performance here today will haunt her for the rest of her natural life. 176 feet, 11 inches. Simply horrific. Um, pretty disappointed. Didn't do so well. Um, hopefully, do better in the future. But kind of, kind of bummed out about that. Have a nice life, Melinda, and congratulations, Jeff Hatch. You're the new people's champion for drag strip bowling. And now it's time for this week's viewers' submission. How disgusting is this burp? Or this? Or what about this? Well, apparently none of those are as disgusting as this burp, which we've selected as the people's champion for this week's viewers' submission. <laughs> so congratulations, Chet Loggins. You're an official people's champion. <laughs> for more information on how you can become a people's champion, Go to fxnetworks.com and click on the People's Champions. We'll be right back. And so ends another stirring display of human excellence. But before we ship tonight's program off to the Academy, let's all join together in saluting our newest inductees into the People's Champions Hall of People's Champions. <laughs>